If you've been thinking about shooting video, but you don't know how to edit, this is what you've been waiting for. Hey guys, I'm Lee Morris. Welcome to Intro to Premiere. I know learning new software can be extremely daunting, but I am excited to tell you that learning to edit video is actually extremely simple. Now, as you know, today you could go on YouTube and you could find a thousand videos on how to use Adobe Premiere. But my issue with most of those free tutorials is that I simply don't learn by watching someone else do something. I have to do it for myself for it to stick. And so in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is give you all of the exact same video files that I'm going to be working with in Premiere. I'm not just going to be showing you how the software works in theory. We're actually going to be using real footage that we shot in the most incredible places around the world. And we're going to cut together a quick commercial using the real tools that I use every single day when I'm editing video. So Eli is gonna walk in, and remember I'm just hitting space bar here to play. And then he's gonna look through the camera right there. At that point, maybe I want the frame to be over here, like this. Let's watch this. That looks awesome. And trying to get a real life movement like that with a camera is almost impossible unless you have some really professional stabilized video head. So it's a lot easier just to shoot stabilized footage and then move around the 4K frame in Premiere. My goal for this tutorial was to teach still photographers how to edit video as quickly as possible. This tutorial is just two hours long and it covers 99% of what I do on a daily basis in Premiere. Okay, now let's quickly talk about color grading. As I bump this up, you'll notice that the green is starting to look really good, but Elias' skin is starting to get a little bit too neon for me. There's a few different ways that we could tone this down. I personally like doing it with curves here. You'll notice this hue saturation curves. I'm just gonna click on these to reveal these points here. I know that most skin tone, at least Caucasian skin tone, is right around here. And if I grab this and pull it down, you can see I can totally change Elias' skin. I'm not gonna go crazy with this, but I just wanna tone it down a little bit. Now, after I teach you the basics of Adobe Premiere, we come back for an advanced lesson. And in this section, I'm going to show you tips and tricks for little details that you may run into over your editing career. I'm going to take you through all of the shortcuts that we've discovered and that we use in Premiere every single day in the F-Stopper's office. As you guys know, you can zoom in and out on the sequence by dragging this little bar down here at the bottom. I have set the A and the S key to zoom in and zoom out. And I use these buttons more than any other buttons in Premiere. I am constantly zooming in and out. So I'll click over here, I'll zoom in, I'll zoom out, I'll click over here, I'll zoom in, I'll zoom back out. And it is so much faster. Less than 10 years ago, to get cinematic looking footage, you had to spend over $50,000 on a camera. Today, almost all DSLRs have video built in and the footage out of these cameras looks incredible. It looks just as good as anything you'd see on a movie screen. It's so crazy to me that so many photographers own these incredible tools and they don't take advantage of them. Chances are you already know how to shoot video. If you can take a still picture, you know how to shoot video. This tutorial is all about how to edit those shots together to create one finished product. All right, guys, I feel like that's a pretty decent edit. And this was actually a relatively complicated edit. This is much more complicated than the average type of video editing that we do here at F-Stoppers. So if you can do this, you can do 99.9% .9 of video editing jobs. So if you've been thinking about getting into video for a while, but the idea of learning another new program has stopped you, this is what you've been waiting for. This is the easiest and fastest way to learn Adobe Premiere.